Uh, fellas, very quickly, I know you want to get off the ground, but I'd just like to say on behalf of the UJ Witten Foundation, how delighted I am to, to be here today to be able to present the UJ Witten medals to the two best players from each side. Um, fantastically hard fought game, congratulations on that. And uh, well done to Glen Orden to get up against the win in the last quarter. Very good effort, fellas. Um, just very quickly, um, the foundation's wrapped to be involved to be able to promote our men's health message through this EJ Witten round. We've been doing it for four years now, and this is the first time we've presented the medals. So it's uh, great for us to be able to continually push out men's health awareness message to everyone associated in the WRFL, you know, players, supporters, spectators, uh, officials, and everyone who can listen to the message. So congratulations on a hard-fought effort. I'd now like to be able to present the EJ Witten medal to the best players from each side. And for uh, from Wyndham Vale, the best player is... Adrian Bol Bol Aiden, Aiden. Aiden Bollard. Bolwin. Bolwin. Well done, Aiden. Good on you, mate. And for Glen Orden, the best player is Reese Duffield. Good on you, Reese. Good on you, mate. So, fellas, congratulations on a hard fought on win. I'm sure you sides will uh, meet each other in the finals at the end of the year. So. Have a nice drink tonight and uh, enjoy the game. Thank you. Here at Windy Wyndham Vale, with uh, name synonymous with Western Suburbs football, and that of course is uh, the Witten name. Uh, we've just had the uh, the Witten uh, medals presented for the Witten round, and uh, Ted Witten Jr. is with me. Uh, it's a great day for the family and for the foundation. Yeah, it is, Kev. It's, uh, it's great that the uh, foundation in particular is involved in the Western Region Footy League and promoting men's health awareness and to have a round and have the opportunity to be able to present the medals uh, named after Dad to the best players. I think it's terrific for the league, and obviously it's it's a proud day for the family as well. And uh, the, the Witten links to the Western Region Football League go way, way back to the Braybrook days and then yourself with F and Y when you played and then your boys yeah. through Spotswood. Yeah, and it's, uh, I mean, actually, uh, my uncle, he played for uh, uh, Braybrook and, uh, you know, it was fantastic as well. So yeah. it's good to be involved and, you know, being a Western Suburbs boy for all my life and the whole family, is, it's just terrific that uh, now the foundation's involved and, uh, you know, pushing out a message about men's health awareness, which is uh, the most important issue. And if people want to get involved in it, and it is uh, not sponsored by or nor given any money by the government, so you actually have to go out and find your own dollars to, to get all this done, uh, they can just jump on the website and uh, get all the details? Yes, yeah, certainly. Um, EJ Witten Foundation, jump on the website. It's, uh, it's a great opportunity to get involved with a good cause. And, you know, there's a lot of good causes out there, but uh, men's health awareness and particularly prostate cancer awareness is a crucial issue to men. Yeah. And uh, more men should know about it. So uh, if anyone would like to support us, we'll be happy to talk to you. And we'd love to talk for another 20 minutes, but it's bloody freezing. It's Let's freezing. go. Let's go. See ya. Thank you. <laughs>